but I grew up in Columbus, Ohio. So not only were there not a lot of Asian Americans around, uh, there were certainly uh, very few openly gay men or women around either. In my high school, for example, I was the only openly gay person there. Uh, and there were four Asian Americans uh, in, out of a class of you know, 1,200. Remembering that, and I always do remember that, I know that you know, I have this opportunity to make the environments where students grow up in now better than what my environment was. In undergrad at Boston University, I studied economics and political science because it was really trying to understand humans that was the most interesting to me. The people that I met at ACT UP when I was just starting undergrad at Boston University were really my inspirations. And I didn't know why until I figured out that, you know, ACT UP was the first science policy activity that I did because we were marching for NIH to increase its support of, of HIV AIDS research and for FDA uh, to you know, more rapidly permit experimental drugs to treat HIV. I didn't know at the time, but that was science policy. And I was inspired by all these activists in, in, in Boston around me. I loved being in the White House during those years because I like to tell students, you know, I entered the White House, I was already married by then. But when I entered the federal government, you know, my employer and my federal government didn't recognize my marriage. I mean, to them, my husband was a roommate or something. But by the time it was over, not only did my employer, the federal government, recognize my marriage, but so did my national government. Um, so that was a, a, a transformation. When the White House was lit up in rainbow colors after the Supreme Court ruling, I mean, that was a, a wonderful day. I mean, for me, I was on the inside of the fence. I was looking at it even closer. I got to meet some of my scientific heroes in the White House. Um, so Frank Kameny, Dr. Frank Kameny, who was a, a math astronomer and mathematician who marched outside the White House to protest against discrimination against uh, gay and lesbian federal scientists back in the 1950s. You know, 50 years later, I was able to meet him on the inside of the White House and say thank you for what you've done for scientists and engineers and LGBT scientists and engineers as well. Um, so moments like that, I mean, I, I really treasure. And we all need to, you know, remember that uh, progress happens. It often it takes decades. It can take, you know, five decades between when Frank Kameny marches in front of the White House to when the federal government recognizes, you know, same-sex marriages. Um, but, you know, as scientists and engineers, we should know that because we know that our research projects and certainly the impacts of our research projects can take decades and decades. So we have to be persistent, but also patient.